Hey folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Um, today we're going to learn how to simplify tunes that you're learning. And this is part four of a mini course I've created called How to Learn Tunes More Easily. So when learning a new tune, ask yourself, is this the simplest version I could possibly learn? Maybe there's another recording you can listen to which, in which the melody is more clear. Um, maybe there's simpler sheet music out there. What I want you to do is let this melody, this pure, simple melody, be your guide. And however way you learn, you want to start with a simple melody. And then later on, you can learn to add things, add variations, or play it in a more challenging way. So I'm going to give you two strategies to help you simplify tunes. All right? The first is to remove all embellishments. The second is to discover hidden repetition. So let's talk about removing the embellishments. Um, if you're, the, I'm just going to go through a list of types of variation and things that you should strip away if you're learning, like from sheet music, say, or you're hearing it in a recording. And the first would be grace notes, like happens a lot in Irish music. Like. So all those little do diddly doos. Take them out. See if you can find a version which is, or just on your own figure out. Just play it way simple. Play it way clear when you're learning it. And re remembering that later on, these tunes can develop and grow with you as you grow as a fiddler. All right? Another type of variation to take away is slides. As cool as they sound, if you're a beginner and you start trying to slide too early, it's going to throw off your intonation and it might wind up being a bit of a crutch too. So I, just as a, from a learning perspective, I say hold off on the slides, but also they're just another thing that for now, while you're learning this tune, are taking you away from the pure melody, all right? So then the other thing you want to take away, double stops, all right? You know, it happens a lot more in American fiddle music, you're just sawing away on two strings. So you'll want to take away those kind of droning double stops if you're reading it on the page or listening to it. Try to find some version. You know, here's a good idea for you. Oh, it's such a good idea. When You know, if you're really trying to learn a melody and it's something more standard, there's those like baby Einstein um, sort of music series. Uh, they're really cheesy, they're, you know, but they have these really clear v versions of the melodies. If you're on Spotify or Pandora or something like that, or YouTube even, just search for some way, some representation of that melody that's really simple. All right? So, um, and that's about it. You know, there's sometimes there'll be extra notes like... In some versions, just try to see if you can do it with simpler notes, with fewer notes, okay? Remembering again that you can always add this later once you've really got a solid grip on the tune. The other main way to simplify tunes is to discover hidden repetition. So what you do is when learning a tune, you look for similar parts that are not quite identical but are kind of the same thing and then make them the same. So I'll give you some examples. There's a, an Irish polka I teach named uh, Bridges Full of Stitches and oftentimes, in some versions I should say, if you look online, um, the first quarter is different than the third. So the first quarter might be and then the third quarter might be alright? They're very similar though and then, then if you look further, you'll see that some versions just make have them both the same. They, they use the third quarter in the last example for both the first and the third quarter. So they're kind of like just having a repeating part in there it makes it simpler to learn. So I'm encouraging you to not only choose those versions if you're learning different things online I'm encouraging you to try to create that kind of variation in the tunes that's a huge 
part of what Fiddlehead is all about. All the tune, if you've been learning with Fiddlehead, all these tunes, like I've noticed and analyzed them and noticed that the, all the third quarter is just pretty much the first. Why am I gonna, why should a student struggle to get something a little different? And you know, we, I wanna just get them playing and then later on, we're gonna go back and deconstruct all these tunes, do fun things with them. I want to get them going right now. And so this is what you can do on your own. And I'm gonna give you a few more examples to help you, you know, maybe you'll be able to figure this out with tunes that you encounter that I don't actually teach. So here's another example of discovering hidden repetition. In Kesh Jig, um, sometimes the first quarter might be written a little different than the third quarter, if you encounter it online or in versions, um, recorded versions. So sometimes the first quarter might be like... And then the third quarter might have a few extra notes from the scale. But if you really play them back and forth together, you'll see that they're kind of pretty much the same part. They're just variations of each other. So I've always reasoned why, you know, make a student, you know, learn a variation when they're just trying to learn the basic melody. So what I'm encouraging you to do then is to just make those the same so you have a little bit more repetition in the tune. So that's pretty much the main strategies for simplifying tunes. Some more advanced fiddlers out there might object to this and say that these versions are kind of oversimplified, they're boring. Maybe that's true for you, um, but I feel that arranging tunes with more repetition allows you to learn a tune more easily so you can more quickly get to that magical place of playing music and enjoying it. You know, you're just more, you'll, you'll just be doing it sooner. So that's part of why I really advocate this. You want to, I want you to get to that point of just loving the music you're making more quickly. The great thing about this simplification process is that later on, when you learn to add variations to tunes, you'll have a much deeper understanding of how the process works. I think you'll be more creative too, because you learn that you learn the tune without variation added. You're not limited by that variation anymore. The tune is more of a blank canvas for you to work with. You can add your own variations, perhaps different each time you play it, okay? So in this way, you can find your own voice as a musician. Well, that's it on how to simplify tunes. Thanks for watching, glad you're here, and don't forget that. And, and also there's more lessons in the um, How to Learn Tunes More Easily series. Check those out. Thanks, people. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video club. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.